What up, everybody? I'm King Obatunda. Um, my actual name is Marcus. Don't call me King Obatunda on the streets. I am 30 years of young, single, ready to mingle, and I'm looking for love. Or maybe just some companionship for now. Who knows? Well, let's, let's see what we got to offer. Welcome to the Pan-African Dating Show, Blind Date Edition. I'm your host, Daddy Sims. Let's get right into it. We have got the handsome Marcus who's about to go on a date with six beautiful ladies blindfolded. But before we get to that, he's going to be shown photos of all six girls and he has to pick just one based on who he finds the most attractive through the budgets. You know what I mean? So let's check out who he picks. Mm, so far, she looks all right. Nothing really stands out to me too, too much other than them shoes, but that's about it. She's pretty. I'll give her that. She has a pretty smile. She looks kind of tall, but I can work with that. I like to climb trees every now and then, you know what I'm saying? What? But yeah, she all right though. She's kind of thick too. All right, she's a small girl, but she probably has a good personality too. Man, she's cute though. I like her. And I, you know, I like chocolate girls too, so that's it's actually a thing for me. So yeah, yeah, I, I think I might work with that. Who knows, who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she thicker than a snicker. Yeah, she all right though, kind of pretty. She look more natural than every, anything, but yeah, she all right. We'll see, we'll see how it work. She don't bleach though, that's a good thing. Girl number five, uh, huh, hmm. She probably has a good personality and everything. Not really my type, but We'll see how it goes. Last but not least. Oh, look at that chocolate. Mm, mm, mm. Is she thick too? Yes. Yeah, we gonna see. Definitely. That, that's a, that's a, that, mm, we'll, we'll see. These girls typically aren't really my type, but I try to go based off a type. So I'm gonna check out the personalities, see how it is, you know what I mean? Marcus has finally made his selection and now it's time for him to go on the blind dates. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Lisa. Um, I'm like very excited to be here. It's my first time going on a playing date, but like I'm very curious about it. I don't know, I feel like I love the mystery. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. So can you start off by introducing yourself, please? Uh, I'm Lisa, I'm 21. I'm a Ugandan. Mm -hmm. I love mystery, I love reading. I'm adventurous. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think basically that's it. Do you have children? No, not really. Do you want kids? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, what do you do for a living? How do you make money? I'm a student. I'm still studying. You're still studying? Yeah. Studying where? Macquarie University. Uh-huh. I've heard about these Macquarie girls. What's are you, are you like them? those? What's up with them? What did you hear? <laughs> They're about business. What kind of business exactly? I don't know, they're just too serious. Nah. Are you one of those types, you're just too serious? Nah, I'm chill, by you're the You're chill? Yeah. So you're somebody I can take home to mama? Of course. Oh, okay, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So have you ever been with uh, a foreigner before, like an American guy? No, I haven't. Never? Yeah. Just dating these local boys? No, I've actually just started dating and stuff. What? You have? So, yeah. you, so you're not really experienced with dating? No, I'm not really. Mm -hmm. Can I touch your hand? My hand is here. Oh, you have soft hands. Wow, you Just moisturize. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. So do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I do. Like, I was raised in a traditional home. Like, mm -hmm. how do you feel about taking care of a girl? Like, paying the bills and shit? Like, It depends as long as she don't stress me. You know, I actually don't have an issue with that because we're also raised the same way Black Americans. With a man of the household, we take care of responsibilities, we step up, basically. But, you know, that whole thing of the Kameza money and all of that stuff, you know, that's something I have to learn, so. How do you know about the Kameza money? <laughs> I know a little something, something. Oh, okay. I've been out here a while. I know, I know, I know a little something, something. Mm, okay. So what else, what other questions do you have for me? I know, what do you like? Okay, what's your favorite thing about sex? About sex. Yeah. The What's pleasure. Your part? Well, for me, it's it's the intimacy and the pleasure. I like to be very intimate 
and I like to please my women, you know what I'm saying? That's just something I aim for. Okay, okay. For real, because y'all like to talk badly about guys in the streets, yo, so I got to build up a little reputation, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm out there, because I'm not really out there like that. Okay. But well, I just got to let it be known. And you, what's your what's your favorite positions and things like that? Positions? I know, it would take a whole day, like... That's a long list, but like... How so? You said you're just dating. Now, now, now we're getting no, like, to the bottom of things, huh? No, it's about what I see and what I would like, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. But I don't know. I like doggy. I like uh, dominance. Are you sure? Yeah, very. So are you used to guys with like long, long dicks or what? What? Yeah, like it's long. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you've just been on a date. How did it go? It was okay. Not bad. I need details, you can't just tell me that. No, like it was okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It was actually better than I thought. Like, it was fun. The conversation was flowing. It wasn't boring. It was okay. What do you like most about him? He's chatty. Yeah, he's friendly and talkative. Would you go on another date? Maybe. Maybe? Do you want yeah. to see a photo of him? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. This is the guy you went on a date with. Do you need me to zoom in? No, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. So would you go on another date? No. No. No? Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name's Clarissa. This is my first time on a dating show, and it's my first time on a blind date, so I'm super nervous. All right, so let's start off rip. How many people you had sex with? I gotta know. What's your body count? I think it's probably below seven. Below seven? Yeah. So you don't have an accurate number? I don't have an accurate number. Uh huh. Yeah. So it could be more than seven. It could be. All right, let, let's take it back a bit. <laughs> Introduce yourself. What's your name? Clarissa. Uh huh. Where are you from? Um, Northern Uganda. Northern Uganda. Which tribe are you? Acholi. Acholi. How old are you? 21. 21. You got kids? No. You want kids? Maybe. I don't know. Mm. Are you prepared in your life right now for a child? Nope. You sure? Very sure. So why are you here? What, what's going on? I mean, I'm not here You shouldn't here be on a dating show if you're not ready for a kid. I wouldn't say that I'm on a dating show to look for somebody to give me a kid, though, so... Uh-huh, so what the are point you looking for? Being here. I don't know, finding a companion, somebody I can laugh through life with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone to talk to your Lugambo with? Yeah, basically. <laughs> why wouldn't I want that? <laughs> Okay, okay. Tell me about your last relationship. Is your ex-boyfriend crazy? Yes, yes, he is. Oh, word. So I got to fight somebody. Uh, nah, he's not that type of crazy, but he's crazy. You never know. And... Was he a stalker? No. How do you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm he saying. Didn't you didn't use social know. media, so that's one thing at least that keeps me... Oh, he didn't? He didn't. Uh-huh. That tells me a lot about you, though. <laughs> What does he tell you about? Because you can have secrets that he doesn't know about. And you put that know. stuff on social media, so how would he know? I mean, that's his problem, not that's mine. That's his problem. Okay. Yeah. You have any questions for me? Yeah. So, do you have a fetish? A fetish? Mm hmm For, like, cheeseburgers and stuff like no, that? No, in the bedroom. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Cheeseburgers? <laughs> Ah, uh, the bedroom. Ah, uh, you know what? I just make it happen. I don't really have a fetish. I just a fetish. I aim to please. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's about it. That's well, nice. do you? You like whips and chains and stuff like that? Hell no. No. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, you're down with blindfolds, so you must be down with something. You know what I mean? As long as you ain't with that hot candle wax stuff. You know what I mean? Fuck no. <laughs> I'm good with just the blindfolds, but nothing else. Okay, okay. Yeah. I do have one little special request. Can I touch your hand? Yeah, Over sure. here on this side. Ah, okay. okay. You like holding hands? Sometimes. You do? I'm even in public? I'm a hand holder, so. Ah. Yeah. Do you like uh, kissing in public, touching in public, stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, you do? So it you're not afraid, person, you're not shy. Really? Yeah. Have you been with a foreigner before? No. Never. Most of the guys I dated are Ugandan, so yeah. You know. uh, local boys, huh? Yeah. So how can you handle someone like me? I mean, is it any really different? You're both men. Oh so. no, nah, it's, it's a difference. Uh huh. Tell me what's There's the difference. There's one way to find out, though. <laughs> I don't know, I, so many words, I don't know if I can say it, but, uh, you know, I'm a man of action. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I'm just going to wait and see Are those actions sure? come. Yeah, I want to see those actions actually be taken. So you've just been on a date. How did it go? It was okay. It was pretty fine. I liked the conversation. I liked that his voice. I just, I liked it. Yeah. Okay. And um, how are you feeling now? Would you go on another date? Yeah, I think I would. Probably. Yeah. Do you want to see him? Yes, I do. So here's a photo of the guy that you went on a date with. Okay. Would you go on another date? No. 
Why not? I don't know. I think it's his face. I don't know. Man, I don't know. It's just I didn't feel it. His voice doesn't match. That's for me. It just didn't match. Hi, I'm Audrey and I'm Changi One. I'm excited to be on a date. I'm excited to be here. And also, um, I've never been on a blind date before, so this is my first time. I just want to see how this goes. All right, so can you tell me your name? I'm Audrey. Audrey, okay. Why are you so quiet? Why are you shy? Are you scared of me? I'm not even shy. I'm not even scared. Uh-huh, okay. How old are you? 21. 21? All these girls here are young. What's, what's going on with that? What do you do for a living? I'm a student. You're a student? At where? Mok. At Mok. Studying what? IT. IT. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're smart. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, you have kids? No, I don't. Do you want children? Someday. Someday. Do you want to get married? Do you have hopes of getting married, having a big wedding? Yeah, I do. A big, uh, what, Coachella and all of that stuff? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I don't. What? <laughs> where are you from? Tell me about where you're from. I'm from Kampala. Central? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Do you like to party? you like to go out and have a good Not time? Not really. No? Yeah. So you stay in a dorm all day? Not all day. It depends. So what do you do for fun? Um, hang out with friends at home. Ugh, you're a homebody. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, all right. Do you have any questions for me? Um, would you rather love... Or? Would you rather love... That's it, that's the question? ...and lose... Uh-huh. ...or never love at all? Would I rather love or lose or never love at all? Ah, uh, hmm. It depends on the type of love, but... I really don't feel like falling in love right now. Mm. Hopefully that answers your question. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I just wanted to answer that. Ah, so you're looking for a hubby that stays at home and cuddles up with you, is that it? No. So how was your dates? Pretty interesting. What did you like the most about your dates? Um, to be honest, I don't know if I liked it or not, cause um, he says something that was kind of a turn off. He's like, I told him my name and he's like, is that your real name or you just... And I was like, really? Why would I say a name that's not mine? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got that. Well, do you want to see him? Maybe that might change your mind. Okay. This is the guy that you went on a date with. How do you feel? I don't like him. Ooh. So you would not go on another date with him? Mm, no. Hi everyone, my name is Keza. I'm anxious to be here. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect, but I'm open-minded, so can't wait for whatever comes my way. Tell me about yourself, what's your name? Um, my name is Keza, Keza. I'm 23. Uh -huh. I have a small business called Smiles and More. Oh, okay. Selling what? Um, flowers, florist gifts. Yeah, I love flowers. Yeah. Hey, that's that's what's all. I'm the last born. We're just two girls. Oh, it's only two of you. Yeah. Okay. So are you the fun one? Mm, yeah, uh, I would okay. say. So what do you like to do for fun? I love drinking. Uh -huh. I love dancing. I love watching movies and I love art. You love art. Okay, all right, all right. Where are you from? Rwanda. Rwanda? Yeah. Uh-huh. What are you doing in Kampala? Um, I was literally born here. Okay. So yeah. how often do you go back? Holidays. Holidays? Like December once in a year. Is your family here or they're in uh, Rwanda? Half, partially. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, you got any questions for me? Yep. What's up? So I want to ask you, mm -hmm. if you... Do you have a bucket list, first of all? A bucket list? Yeah. I'm currently completing some of it, yes. Mm -hmm. So if you have one, which one haven't you yet completed? <laughs> I have never in my life had a threesome, believe it or not. That's definitely on my bucket list. Would you wish to have one? I definitely do. Okay. Someday. That's interesting. Do you have any other questions for me? I need to know what your body count is. I have to know. <laughs> my body count is four. It's four? Yeah. You're lying. No. Let me see your hands. I want to see my hands. Oh, okay. Soft hands. All right. I'll see you. <laughs> I am real soft too. You like holding hands? Yeah. You like cuddling with your man? Yeah, I feel myself. Really? Mm hmm Okay, this one is fun. All right, there's some potential there. I actually like that. <laughs> How was the date? It was amazing. I love the conversation. Mm -hmm. We kind of connected. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I loved his personality. I don't know how he looks like, but the personality was okay. Do you want to see him? Gladly. This is the guy, sorry, that you went on a date with. Okay. And yeah, how are you feeling about him? He's not bad. He's not bad? Not ugly. Not ugly? Yeah. Would you go on another date? I guess so. Yeah, would? I would. Hi guys, I'm Dorothy. Okay, I'm really nervous right now. Okay, I know nothing about the guy. But I like my coffee dark, so I hope we can do this. All right, can you uh, tell me your name? Uh, Dorothy. Dorothy, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. Where are you from? I'm from Mbarara. Mbarara. Okay, so you are Wanyankale? Yes. Okay, uh, well, how old are you? I'm 24. 24? Yes. Do you have children? No. Are you in school? No. So what do you know with yourself? I'm living life right now. Are you chopping life, huh? Yeah. Turning up, going out on parties and whatnot? Just trying to be adventurous, that's all. Really? So what do you like to do for adventure? Uh, I like eating food, so I like trying out new stuff and going to new places. Okay, okay, okay. That's it? That's the only kind of adventure you like? You don't like to uh, go out to different places or, um, I go out clubbing. I go out for trips and stuff like that. Okay, all right. So tell me about your love life. Uh, you currently with somebody looking for, looking for love, looking for companionship? Um, I'm looking for excitement. I'm looking for stability. Mm-hmm. Mm. Excitement and stability. I don't know about that though. As, as those two kind of, you know, they don't go together. Well, you okay? Let's let me just change it to spicy, maybe. Uh -huh. And stability. Have you ever been with a foreigner before, like a Black American? Uh, no, no, I've not. Never. Yeah. Okay, so that's fun and exciting right there in itself. You have any questions for me? Um. Okay, I'm just going to ask you. Um, what is uh, your favorite part about? Making love or sex? The intimacy. I love the reaction women get when I'm doing what I do, basically. I hope that makes sense. Okay. But I like the intimacy, sorry. You know, you know, I'm a big guy, but you know, I have a soft side as well, so uh, I aim to please, basically. And you, what, do, what is your favorite part about sex? Um, if a guy is really like a good kisser, well, that is like the first thing that will tell the direction where the night or where the, everything is going to end. Is that so? Mm -hmm. What if he's a trash kisser, but he's like really good in bed? You can be good in bed and don't Are you serious? How to kiss. What you mean? Sometimes like when you're really doing it, you know, you don't really get a time, like, you know, to be kissing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a big deal for you. Like you really gotta have somebody who can like really yeah. kiss you and all of that. And those are to touch me in the right places. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I can handle it. Can I, can I touch your hand? Uh okay. I'm right here. Okay, yeah, she got soft hands too. Oh, wow. So you've just been on a date. Was it what you expected or no? It was great. I like that the conversation just kept on flowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think love is blind? Well, it's like I was blind the whole time, so. So maybe. Mm. All right, well, what did you like the most about the date? Um, I like the way he was speaking. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I held his hand. Uh, it felt nice. Does he have a nice hand? Describe his hand. Is it like soft? <laughs> Do you want to see a photo of him? Please. Okay. This is the guy that you went on a date with. Well, damn. Well, damn. How are you feeling about him? It looks good. Uh, I like the tuts. Right. Did you think he would have tattoos? No. What did you picture him as? Um, tall, big, mm. well, spot on. Spot I think. on. So, would you go on another date? Yes, I would. Hi, my name is Sonia. I'm going on a date. I'm really excited, so I don't know what to expect. So let's see how it goes. Tell me about yourself. What's your name? Uh, Sonia. And where are you from? Uganda. How old are you? 25. 25. Do you have kids? No. You don't have any children? No children. At 25. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, it's not a must, thing. is it? No, it's not. Exactly. Not at all. Exactly, yeah. Not at all. So what are you looking for in a man? Um, A man who's a provider. Mm -hmm. Kind, mm -hmm. God-fearing. Okay. Yeah, basically that's like my top 
Okay. And what do you bring to the table? Um, <laughs> I bring myself to the table. Uh, personality, huh? <laughs> There's a lot I can offer. <laughs> uh -huh. Like what? Um, what's, I your, what's your best quality? How about that? I'm a freaky girl. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta ask, what's your body count? <laughs> I gotta know. Not above twenty. Not above twenty. Yeah. Okay, that's a confident answer. <laughs> Got a little bit of mileage on you, but that's okay. The mileage says experience. That's okay. Yeah. So, what's your favorite position in bed? Um, missionary and doggy. <sighs> Come on, man. Yeah, that's so uh, I mean, it's, basic though. Like, yeah, it, it is basic, but I mean, it gets it gets the work done. So. Is that so? So when you're when you're doing it with a guy, is it about you or is it about both of y'all? Like, are you just looking to get yours off? That's it. I mean, it's about both of us. Uh huh. But it is about both of us. There's no but. Oh, okay, okay. You had to be sure. You had to be sure. <laughs> All right. So, do you have any questions for me? Um, have you slept with someone on the first date? Uh, maybe once or twice. Uh, okay. And what's your body count? Hmm. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I've been to war. All right. You don't count bodies when you're in war. You only count oh, the damage that's really? done. Really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I honestly don't know because I don't count because it's really not that big of a deal to me. Oh, okay. I never thought they'd keep track. Oh, so I'm guessing it's like really big then? I don't think so, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I don't because I'm kind of an introvert, so oh, really? I don't really be out with a lot of people like that. And people annoy me very quickly. So, oh, really? Yeah, I can oh, get turned off like that. That's cute. Don't worry. I want to know you. Oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, I'll so far, I like your personality. So, <laughs> that's going to happen. Thank you. Any other questions for me? Um, no, I think that's it. That's it? So, you don't want to know if I'm like crazy, if I'm a stalker, if I beat people up for a living, you know? <laughs> I'll find that out soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you might too. <laughs> So you went on a date with this guy and you guys seem to have like a lot of chemistry. Listen, he's my man. We just, I just told him to come here and like do something small so that like, you know. Oh, you want him yeah. to like be, you know, yeah. surprise you a little bit. A little bit. I want to see how much flirting he has like, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So yeah. how much did he impress you? He did impress me. I like the fact that we were a bit flirty and then a bit freaky, like a little bit. But... A little bit? Yeah, <laughs> I call that a little bit. <laughs> Girl, you're a nasty. <laughs> All right, so do you want to see the guy that you went on a date with? Yeah. Let me ask you, will his looks change your complete decision about his personality? No, because I normally date guys because of their personality. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready to see him? Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. This is the guy you went on a date with. Okay. How would you yeah. feel about him? Not bad. Not bad, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so would you go on another date with him then? hundred percent. I have a wedding date already planned, so. <laughs> okay, so uh, after reviewing all the girls and everything, um, hmm, a few of them actually stood out to me more so than the others. Um, but I think that I'll probably end up making my decision based off personality, not so much uh, the photos. It's, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to me. You know, I got I picked out one girl earlier, but now I'm gonna have to go based off the personality, so we're gonna have to see how it adds up. But it's a few that have potential, you know, so we'll see, we'll see. Now that Marcus has finally gone on all these dates, it is time for him to pick one girl based off personality, whose personality he flowed with and vibed with the most to be put up in the ultimate battle of physique versus personality. So Marcus, you have dated all six girls today. Yeah. And now is the moment of truth. I am beyond excited. So what we're gonna do is have all the girls come out now where mm -hmm. you're gonna be meeting them for the first time ever face to face. Are you excited? I'm excited. You're excited? I'm excited. Are you nervous? You said a lot of things mm -hmm. in in those dates. Nah, and... I'm not really shy. I'm not nervous. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I okay. I want to put a face to the uh, energy, I guess. Mm -hmm. Shall we bring the girls out now? Yes, please. Let's bring the girls out now. Finally, guys, we have reached the moment that we have all been waiting for yes. the entire day. Marcus has been on a date with all six girls and all six girls have been on a date with him. A lot of things were said, a lot of feelings were shared, and now it's time for the biggest revelation of this episode. So Marcus, we told you to choose two girls, one based off personality mm -hmm. and another one based off physical appearance. Yes. 
The girl that you chose is gonna step forward, and this is the girl that you picked based off physique. Okay. Girl number two, please step forward. Marcus, why did you choose her in terms of physique? She's beautiful, look at her. <laughs> but honestly, the picture was very amazing and I really liked the whole setup of everything. So that's the reason why I picked it. Very beautiful. Not saying that the other ladies aren't. <laughs> okay, and in terms of personality, you had a connection with, well, Sonia. Please step forward. Sonia. The whole vibe. Why did you pick this girl's personality? Because Sonia, yo, that's, she seemed like somebody I could chill with, somebody I could really vibe with. Mm -hmm. Based off of being on, on blindfolds and everything, like she has a great talking personality. Yeah. So that was the reason why I chose you. You guys got a little bit freaky with each other, didn't you? <laughs> well, we felt arms. I mean, for the 1800s, that, that's freaky, but this is the 21st century, you know what I mean? Yes. Well, we have finally reached, well, you know the moment of truth, where we have to put up personality versus physique. You can only leave with one girl today. Marcus, which girl are you going home with today? Well, I did enjoy the entire time of getting to know all you ladies and um, I do appreciate everyone for coming out today just to get to know me. But unfortunately, all of you ladies seem like the homies to me and not someone that I would actually want to date. So unfortunately, I will not be going home with someone today. Okay, that's all right. Ladies, please step back. <laughs> But congratulations to the two ladies who did make it. Can we have a round of applause? It was definitely a vibe, I will say that. Yeah. Fortunately, um, I actually did not choose a lady to go home with today. And uh, basically it's because I'm looking for a companion, but more so someone that I can connect with on other levels, you know? Blind, blind dating is kind of hard for me. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm more of a physical kind of guy. And unfortunately, these ladies did not really stimulate me in the way that I thought that they would, uh, you know, for me to make a judgment based off of that. So right now, I think I'm just gonna stay single, ready to mingle. And I'm just gonna, you know, stay open in the market and see what I can find. Some of us believe in love is blind. Others of us believe in love at first sight. Unfortunately, today, Marcus couldn't go home with the girl of his dreams, but the search continues. Nonetheless, we still have beautiful girls all over Africa and the African diaspora who are ready to be on this show, which means you guys can subscribe to this channel. Of course, leave a thumbs up to the video. Let us know in the comment section who you were shipping, because I know I definitely, I was heartbroken when I saw my girl get dumped like that, you know what I mean? So let us know in the comment section how you guys felt about it and we'll see you guys next time. Remember to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell another friend, to subscribe to the channel and check us out. This is the Pan-African Dating Show. I'll see you guys soon.